What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Jim Behind the Scent. Today we got a special one, an unreleased one from Phoenix Arzen, and that is Thought Forms. Really cool label. I really like that right there. Very interesting. Um, scent on this is incredible. Uh, as you see, I've used it a few times, quite a few times. Um, CK6 formula, we're following it up with this matching splash. And I have used the glue cube off camera. I just washed my face with it. And that was it. So, going with the... Phoenix Shaving Alpha Ecliptic. It's beautiful blue. Um, aluminium razor. And I have my last Gillette in the sit. A sit in there. And I've whipped up a bunch of this soap and a Better Homes and Gardens cereal bowl. So we got a bunch of it. And I'm gonna tell you now, it's great. As is this brush. This is a whole Phoenix artisan video. Everything in it besides the blade is from Phoenix Artisan. So we're going with the 22 millimeter Astravis. I don't uh probably butchered that, but that's a really cool picture there. I like that. This brush is really good. I highly recommend it if you like 22 millimeters. So that's what we're going to get into. All right, about three days growth. Scent scale. I'm gonna give you the scent notes first. Um, God, it's great. It really is. I'm not even exaggerating. This is a really nice scent. Um, you'll see if you buy it. It's citrus, basil, menthol, floral, rose, spice, green, amber, cedar, patchouli, and woody. So what I get from it is a spicy, floral, woody thing. And it's really good. The citrus just, I don't really get the citrus. It brightens up a little bit, but that's about it. Uh, brightens up the whole scent, but not very much. Everything's in there, I guess for a great reason. So it all works. The menthol is very, very, very faint. Almost undetectable, but it's a really good scent, I'm telling you. I really enjoy this. Scent scale, I'd give it a 7.5 out of 10. And we're going to roll with that. Let's get it. I have hit the year mark on the goatee, if anybody cares. Uh, about uh, two days ago. So, I'm gonna keep growing it. Really 
really comfortable shave so far. Efficient, but not too efficient. Efficient in taking hair away, but not horrible blade fill or anything. Don't get me wrong, there is blade fill, but not a super, super bunch. For me, anyway. I know that's very subjective, so... It's effortless. I'm barely putting any pressure on this at all. Pretty much just dragging it across the skin. This is a really good blade for this razor. If you own this razor and haven't tried the Gillette Nasset, I highly recommend it. If you put a feather in here, yeah, you'll get a bunch of blade fill. <laughs> and probably a bunch of cuts, weepers, and everything else, so. Hope everyone's well. What gear are you using? Drop it in the comments. This right here is about to drop soon. I don't know when, but very soon. And once you, the menthol comes in very faintly after After you shave, just realized I didn't have my mic. I don't even know if you can hear me, but mm. I hope so. Or I'm gonna have to do a head shave with this. Uh, but yeah, the. Menthol comes in very, very faintly as a feel when you get, I guess when you wet the face or you, let's try that. Yeah, when you wet the face, you get a cooling sensation. It's really nice. Um, but it's nothing super cold. It's not even cold as Perazzo, so. Perazzo green, nowhere near it. So it's just there to enhance the shave. I really like it actually. So Second pass against the growth. This is a razor, in my opinion. You do not need three passes. At least I don't.
Yeah, it's a really floral, spicy type scent, but you get the woodiness up front for me anyway. But it's a very nice blend, as you would expect. So, scents come up front and then they disappear in the back, back and forth, back and forth. This is definitely a banger scent, in my opinion. I'll be getting the EDP. For sure. A crowd pleaser it's nothing weird or anything like that it should be a crowd pleaser but you know some people are you know, yeah. never mind um but yeah i think it's a crowd pleaser overall unless you hate woody floral scents then and it's not floral like like a lady's perfume or something. It's not like that. It has enough woodiness in it to overtake the floral, but still leave it. That makes any sense. And then you've got your patchouli way far in the background. And the basil plays a part. Also, like I said, it's a very well blended scent. If you're a fan of any of that, I highly recommend picking it up. <clears throat> if you do decide to pick it up, there is a affiliate link in the description, which I always include in the description. There's a few of them, so pick and choose. Rinse the face, and I'll be back. Alum. A few stingy spots, not much. Okay, and we're gonna go with the aftershave. Cologne. This is an aftershave cologne. <clears throat> Smells incredible. I believe this has menthol in it.
Guess not. At least it's not in the ingredients, but it isn't super cold, but it does have a slightly cold feeling to it. So, it's nothing that's going to ruin your day or anything, but it is there, and it's very cooling and soothing to the face, or whatever you decide to shave. You can leave that in the comments. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Don't leave that in the comments. Um, so that's it, guys. Just be on the lookout for this. It's coming out soon. Thought Forms from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. I uh, know you guys are going to love it. So when it comes out, get the holographic label. Because you're going to love it. So... Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know I enjoyed that shave. And I know I'm going to enjoy this scent for the rest of the day. You see my eyes are glossy. It has a tiny bit of menthol, but it's nothing to write home about. But it is there, so just letting you know that. It is there, especially in the aftershave. So, Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.